Ever been in line at a coffee shop and witnessed a wild Karen in her natural habitat? Well, buckle up, because we're diving into the top moments when Karens truly outdid themselves. This lady stays cool and doesn't chicken out when the crazy road rage Karen spits on her. Eventually, Karen hits a car while trying to run away from the parking lot. You won't believe the level of customer care this hotel owner provides. This guy gives such great service that he berated a woman customer and eventually kicked her out of the hotel. I was laying in bed with my children. Am I giving you permission to, to record me? No. Am I giving you permission? I'll just record you well. I was laying in bed with my children and your bathroom started flooding. So your response is... You're, you rented the room, it's your bathroom now. No, it's not. You're I don't. You're responsible for that room. No, I'm not. Gorgeous. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You stop being an idiot. I'm an idiot. And, 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 and start thinking with your mind, okay? Stop being a Democrat, a dumb Democrat. Oh, okay. And go to your room, pack your stuff, and leave. I will not pay for a oh, set. Oh, you, okay, you're all set, then leave. If you think I'm not going to charge you, then leave. I'm charging you. For what? For rent and for damages, any damages. I asked you to shut the water, you refused. I didn't refuse. I said, how do I do that? I, I asked you to the bathroom that, you is idiot, you flooded. Idiot. I also told you that, you idiot. Didn't I tell you that? Have you always been like that? <laughs> leave. It's better for you, dumbass. Leave. You can totally see the crazy in this Karen's eyes. She just won't budge from the restaurant, even though the workers are practically begging her to get out. Get out! Shut that out! Get 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 out! Get
Mr. Karen at the gym was acting like a total maniac, harassing the guys for absolutely no reason. Maybe something awakens inside him when he sees men working out, and he just wants their attention. Hey! Oh man, there's his boyfriend, there's his boyfriend! There's his boyfriend recording it! <laughs> Realize who's got your back, your boyfriend. Where you at, boyfriend? I was in the same. <laughs> I bet you. Hey, 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 for chill. Oh, get the out of here, you Oh, you didn't do a punch. Get the out of here. Come on, he's throwing this. Oh, he's throwing this at me. Wants to fight. Come on, let's fight. You want to throw it up? Let's fight! Bro. Where you at, you fucking faggot? Let's yo, go! Yo, he's not even throwing shit, yo. Where you at, you fucking faggot? How old are you? How old are you? He's a minor, yo. 17, you little faggot ass. This racist Karen in the restaurant was spewing all this nonsense. And when a worker calls her out for being racist, she loses her marbles. None of your business. Do not give that lady my name. Is that the manager? No, she's another employee. She's hurt. She's hurt right now. Because you're racist. I am not yes, racist. Yes, you are. I am ugly to people when you're they're ugly racist. to me. You're racist. Why? Why? Do I need to say it again? You just, told, you just told me to go back to girl. Mexico. Go what back is the problem? Honduras, Valdez, I don't give a you're getting on my nerves now. You've been on mine. Ooh, girl, uh -huh. what else is here? Here you go. The number is on here as well? Yeah. OK, what's the main number, the district office? Look it up. Mr. Karen, the insurance guy, acts like he's a roofing expert just so he doesn't have to pay the homeowner anything. He's bossing the workers around, telling them how to do their job and all that jazz, but the worker called his bluff. I'm not a roofing expert. I don't know how to do any roofing. That's your guys' job. But I'm looking at that. What you're doing is simulating well, damage to the shingle. Me? Whenever you pull the shingle back, first that? it needs to be. That? It's creating damage. That point? No, I'm not saying, right, but when you pull this one up. Yeah, you have you to pull this one up to see which three... It is. Okay, I'm saying, but you don't need to crease it. When did I crease it? <laughs> when you pull up the, the side of the... Like Where is it creased? Where is it creased? It's not creased now, and that's what I'm saying. Oh, let's go to a different one, then. Do, do you think this is repairable? Yes. Full heart. You got that on video? Yeah. <laughs> Show us how to do it. I'm not a roofing expert. I don't do any... No, but you're making a cover scissors, so you are an expert. No, I'm an expert on the policy. You already caused damage to one scene. If it's repairable, why would it You've cause more damage? damage single. We have you it on video. You've already caused one damage single. So let's agree and let's do this single the way it needs to be done. Direct me. Tell me what you want me to do. Please, I've, sir. I've already seen this, this. man, this man, this man has over 100 wind crease singles on his roof. And you're saying it's repairable. It has grainy oil. It's not repairable. This Karen at the drive-thru starts causing a scene, asking for a refund for so-called cold fries. When the workers say no to her rudeness, she goes full drama queen and calls the cops on him. Don't leave this parking lot. I want you to call the police. Okay. No, the cops will be here in a minute. You're rude. You're rude. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The customer is always right. Don't you? Didn't you take customer service? Don't you know what customer oh, service is? You're not. I'm uh, oh, no. I'm not a customer. Okay, I just gave you money, and I want my money back now. Why you gotta use foul language? Like, what is your problem? Like, this jack in the box and the previous jack in the box that I was just at. Apparently, y'all don't know how to do your goddamn jobs. You did not make my food fresh. Those fries are cold. Okay, do you want more fries? No, I want my money back. All right, I don't. I don't. Okay. Can I get your receipt? 
You didn't give us a f***ing receipt. I, I'm not going to pass it out. Well, first of all, had they not been rude to us to begin with, we wouldn't have been cussing and, and that to your minors. They, they were rude to us. I asked for my money back. I should be able to get my money back. I'm an unhappy customer. I did tell them to go get you. No, they didn't. No, at first they didn't. It's not an emergency. This is a non-emergency line. But I'm at Jack in the Box right now, and we're having an issue to where um, our food is cold, and they won't give me my money back. Okay, where are you at? Jack in the box on uh, Bayless. Do you have an address? Um. Uh, what's your address? Oh, it looks like, it looks like finally the manager is going to come out here and give us our money back. Okay. Do you want an officer? Oh, uh, we don't know yet. Um, I don't know yet. They're they're just very rude here. This is the second. Check the box I've been to today. This maniac in the neighborhood went all crazy on his neighbors, and when they tried talking to him about it, he straight up started throwing punches. But guess what? The cops finally hauled him away for his wild antics. Hey, bud, sit in the bush. He stole something from us. So if you're going to sit there and block the uh, gate off, okay, it's not, it's not right. Sir, it's illegal. Sir, if you want to go talk to you, let him do it. Don't so come to my house. Sir. My house, bitch. We're not in your house. Yo! Yo! Don't you fucking touch him! Stop touching! Don't you fucking touch him! Somebody call the cops! Don't you fucking touch him! You crack him! You're starting it! You're starting it! No, he isn't! You're starting it! 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 You're When the cops told this Karen to leave the concert because she was causing trouble, she freaked out and thought she could boss around the cops to stay. Eventually, she got the message loud and clear. She can't boss the cops, and she walked away. Stand up. Do Stand not up touch me. That is against the law. Stand up and come with me. Do not touch me. That is against the law. No. No. Stand up and come with me. Yes. Stand up and come with me. Yes. You're making it worse. You're she didn't really do it. You're making it worse on yourself. No, you are. You're making it worse on yourself. These people are saying I didn't do anything wrong. I don't care. You touch me one more time, it's bad. You need to come with me. You touch me one more time, it's bad. You need to come with me. That wraps up today's video. If you enjoyed, then consider subscribing to our channel. We're so close to 1 million.